So, 6k subs. Ain't that some shit? So, what's going on, guys? As I promised, when I hit 6k subs, not, not that it was like hard, I only needed like 19 more, and I got 19 plus 12, uh, more than 19. So, basically, here it is the making of sort of something i don't know uh also as you can see i made a wallpaper it's like 1080p wallpaper of the last scene i don't know let's get started so basically sony vegas you know nothing special uh just like basic uh, sync so here's like the intro stuff uh, the song here are like some old crap like this th th that's unimportant because I started uh, started recording back then, and uh, I realized that I would like. I would. I mean, when I put the black bars, it like looked weird for me. So I went and re-recorded like the first two or three clips with uh, higher FOV. But anyway, so yeah, here's like here's normal map. As you can see, you know, no gun, no HUD, nothing. Then uh, Z pass, and uh, then the gun. And don't ask me why some like guns are on blue screen or red. <laughs> but anyways, this is basically it. Uh, I also like did a final render in Vegas. I also like added these things as, as for, you know for transitions or whatever. Let me just, let me see if I can. Yeah. It's just like some basic colorish overlay something I don't know, and then I added like some HLS H HLS HSL adjust I don't even know what the fuck this oh hue saturation luminance obviously, and just like change the hue then you know obviously After Effects and like this is the whole fucking project like every single clip like is a specific composition it's all like organized somewhat. Everything is like in its own folder and this is the old project file. Uh, the reason I did a final render in Vegas is probably because I fear that my like project would crash mid render. That's like not that wouldn't be the first time happening to me. So I just said like I'm, I'm just going to render it in bits and then like do the final render in Vegas. So yeah, this is like the intro which has like Oh, not that, this, 23 layers, which are, uh, this is like background, I guess, something, I don't even know, uh, some color correction for like the cinematic, actually, I should start calling them smooths, because that's how they're called, and this is like, the intro is quite basic, you know, what the fuck is this, oh, looks, okay. You know, nothing too special, just like a bunch of uh, logos and texts and whatnot with uh, some, uh, is it position? No, it's scale and orientation uh, animations, you know, so it like rotates and then VFX cinema pops out and then this sort of rotates is, and you can see it's laggy as fuck and uh, the Enigma crew logo c comes out really nice and you know some particles so it's just like uh, some particles uh, video maybe raw footage whatever from video copilot the story behind these two cinematics in what the fuck not that uh, we go behind these two cinematics in the intro is that these were the clips that I intended to use, but they like wouldn't fit anywhere. So I thought I should like make some smooths from those clips and put it in the intro because to be honest, I really had no idea what to put in the intro. I know it's like quite long, but I just, the fucking blend, the, like, like the transition in music uh, fits so perfectly. And I just had like no idea how to like do it shorter or whatever here we go like the first clip and a lot of you ask me how the fuck did i do the 
you know, the death notices or the kill feed. And it's literally every shot is motion tracked. Uh, so did I use, yeah, I used like basic camera tracker, you know, couldn't, <laughs> couldn't be bothered to do this in Buju because it's such like a short and simple scene. So I just like tracked it and then like, uh, to make it shake, I just uh, animated the Y rotation. Yeah, somewhere it's not Y, somewhere it's uh, X rotation. So it like flips, uh, like on the Michael Lele 5K shot. And basically these are just like keyframes where the, the fucking thing goes like forward and then backwards and then forward and backwards. But every time it gets like, the value just decreases a bit and you know so like it, i don't know basically that that's it so here is the first uh clip with all these and for the shadows i just like made a well, this is the null where the fuck is the floor there we go uh just a basic solid with white solid and you make it multiply and in uh, material options you disable casting shadows and you accept shadows but uh, don't uh, accept lights and you get fucking shadows they're like proper shadows i remember uh back when i started this uh i think i posted it on twitter right so yeah this is like the early early alpha beta whatever I mean, it looks much clearer, but then I added the uh, fog, I added uh, a better depth of field. I just added some like flare and I made a volumetric mask, which looks like this. And it's literally just, you, you just m like add a bunch of contrast and uh, tint to make it like desaturated and uh, maybe you mask out just like this part so that and nothing else is white or whatever and you know just added shine so to make it like look like the sun is shining or whatever and this these two are like basically the uh, like adjustment layers for the look so there is the, the uh, depth of field effect which is the uh, camera lens blur and then I use my like Z pass uh, layer which also has the tracked kill feed so that uh, the kill feed also has like a proper depth to it sort of and there's the chroma to make it like look distorted in the depth or whatever so yeah that's basically the first shot uh where's this there we go the second one so for example in this one like the my first like depth layer how you did it or how i did it was to just add fog and then mess around with like uh contrast and shit so like you you took a normal map with fog and then like made it a depth map which wasn't really perfect but i found a way actually the that chinese guy the, uh, that guy with chinese name gave me like commands to make a proper depth pass which isn't perfect but it's like much better than what i did before basically the sky wouldn't like blur out properly and it just like looked really weird so uh, when i started i even decided not to use depth of field just like basic edit with like tracked tracked uh, kill feed so weird how how much like the edit itself it uh, like evolved but yeah, so in second clip, it's basically the same thing, you know, track the text, uh, track the clip, uh, add the kill feed, you know, make animations to it. Uh, so these also have like, uh, these have the X rotation. Let me just like check this one. So you can sort of see this one and like these two. Then there's the like the gunshot which goes uh, on, which like rotates on the y axis i thought that was like really cool and to like make it sort of next to the guy and there is also like this 
text that you can barely read smoke quad push arch i, I don't even know why 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 did I do that and the particles of course and like the idea of this edit was you know when I got to the third or fourth clip I was like maybe I should do like something different in each clip so I don't know if you guys noticed but like the first clip has like this distortion in the beginning which is basically shockwave you know just like shockwave really bright and you know just black and white and used as as like a distortion mask so here you don't see the distortion but you see the particles if the fucking thing would load and then like i just added you know some effects like i don't know desaturation and exposure uh some blur grain uh even more blur turbulent displays and you know the third clip so this is the Kenny S shot with the lightning and uh, you know again it's the same thing but the way I did the lightning is it's literally after effects uh, what is it called oh, there we go I think I have it in a separate yeah so basically I have it in a separate uh, layer or like pre-comp and as you can see it's like tracked and sort of follows the pipes and then I added these like solids that like sort of they're also tracks and you know they they're just like overlaid and look as if like the fucking lightning is light lighting up the the surroundings and whatever and like the flare in the end just like a nice touch and also like the floor beneath the guy also glows these sparks are literally just a 2d layer yeah just a 2d uh like uh layer from again from video copilot's action essentials i think and if you're wondering how the f like, how the fuck can i like track this because as you can see like for example the shot has some changing like uh zoom and shit and you can see the the kill feed here and what the fuck is this oh it's an all okay never mind you can see the kill feed well basically i i took took like this part you know like rendered that tracked it took this part rendered tracked it took this part again rendering you know tracked it again and it's all tracked in buju now the great thing about buju is once you figure it out properly you can basically make it so that you know the same scene is literally like it literally stays the same you know the position and everything and that's what like really happened as you can see uh the the null object is pink in this one but it turns blue here and it's not the same but it's in the same position because well i'm so good at motion tracking <laughs> So yeah, uh, okay, so the lightning is literally uh, advanced lightning in After Effects and it sort of goes like from behind to here and obviously it's blue here. I just like pre comp that and uh, where is it here and then I just like added some curves and you know tint adjustment you know to I think yeah desaturate it and then like I just add curves like I add red and you know boost the lightning and stuff and then like that that's just like the pre-comp so I, I I have everything set up so that I have a pre-comp in which I you know I set up the track text I do maybe some like crazy thing whatever and then I go into the like the final composition of that clip and this is where I add like effects on top of that so here is like a uh, radial blur uh, some curves adjustment uh, hue oh that's before okay well, uh, here as you can see like before the shot and then this this is like the looks and radial blur but it like zooms in yeah this is sort of like what some people don't use is you can use optical flares as like flashes so this is just basically optical flare you know just flashing you know and i like position it in 
bit of in, in a corner, whatever. Now this, this is where I started with this rotations thing. I, yeah, I think this this was actually the first clip. Like before this, I just had the kill fit, you know, normal. I, like I didn't add the animation to it, you know, it was it was just a static. Oh, and I forgot. Uh, let me just get yeah. There we go. There's a lightning on the fucking death notice, and nobody noticed that. Okay, so this clip, uh, this is where I started with the with like animating the the kill feed or death notice, whatever you call it. And here, yeah, like look, look at this, like 29 layers. Uh, oh, some are I think yeah. Oh my god, oh it's just the camera. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 I remember. The shot wouldn't, like, track properly, so I had to render it without cuts. Track it, and then, like, uh, figure out which is which, like, match the frames with the cameras and whatever. So this, like, gun thing, basically find edges and some glow with, like, uh, RSMB. I don't even know why I used motion blur on this. So I just like uh, multi multiplied, like duplicated these layers and offset them by one frame. And you get like this sort of delayed thingy, whatever. And it looks really nice. And people are comparing it to Sinister. And that's what I like realized once I finished it and added the orange color, which looked really nice. Like, I don't know, like... If I change this to, will it change it on all? Nope. Yeah, whatever. Like the orange uh, color looked really nice, and because it's orange, people are comparing it to Sinister's edit because he also uses like a lot of these effects on uh, view models. And again, like you know, I'm following the the logic of this edit. Like I use this like gun thing, whatever. And that's like the only time you see it in like in my edit and like every shot is sort of uh, unique for itself. So yeah, you know, the basic stuff like tracked, uh, added rotation to this. Uh, some of these are not like, I didn't like just copy paste them. Like for example, these first, I think first like, okay, actually maybe first four are the same and then the last one sort of gets slower by the end to sort of like make it look because the shot like itself slows down so the swinging you know, kill feed should maybe be slower you know those are like just like some things to uh, to like watch out when you're editing and here is like this sort of effect that i did like completely random effect i just changed the hue to make it look bluish and then like on top of that in the where is it here i added like some contrast and tint and uh, yeah and glow and glow is uh set to vertical and you know to match the colors and whatever and then the fifth clip has like these uh like sun rays coming out from like these windows and the problem is in CSGO, the sun is positioned like somewhere around here. You know, uh, it's not there, it's somewhere like around here, but unfortunately you can't change the sun direction and considering that like this is uh, a closed environment, I sort of have my freedom on where the sun could be. But uh, for example, in, in, come on, fucking save, in the first uh, shot, the sun actually comes like from around here and it would like it wouldn't make sense to me to let's say put it around here like in this corner like that that makes no sense at all like why the fuck that do the shadows point this way and the sun is like that way like makes no sense oh my god these flares were like so fucking painful to track because for the most time i just had to like manually move the null to like be sort of on the fucking light uh, on these lights and then I realized that I don't really need to like have it like for the whole scene like I tracked them here for the whole shot and then like I realized when I like 
pre-comped it. When I have black bars, you can't even see the flares. So to make it sort of like a proper camera, these are the black bars and uh, every time the light goes be beyond the black bars, it should like the flare should like decrease in brightness, whatever. Uh, so yeah, like this shot. Oh yeah, this shot also has uh, these. Let me see. Yeah, this like these lines, which are also like another sort of this like uniqueish idea. It's uh, it uh, reminds you a bit of like the previous lines on the gun, but you know this, it doesn't look that similar, and it like uh, appears on the kill. So every time he gets a kill, this is like just an offset I think you yeah the opacity is like changed so it sort of like pulses every time he gets a kill uh, so what else oh yeah the arrows as well like again people compare me to copying sinister and you can like see that like there is glow on the on the stairs is it this no this, this is like on the wall and then i just said like linear wipe to sort of make it appear like instead of masking it it like appears with the shadows and this is the floor glow yeah and the floor glow like it's i i wouldn't really bother with like making a solid layer that's exactly like this and then exactly like this and this and you, you can just like cheat a bit with making a solid and then just like rotating it a bit and it's, it looks decent enough you know and then like obviously in the main comp there are like some effects there's the again the the flashing flare now it's on the middle and this is how like the normal effect looks which uh, I don't even know what I used. I used fucking invert. Wow. Okay. Uh, brightness, like, and contrast, and some radial blur, and then I added this flare, and it just looks really nice, like sort of purplish, and then like over here it looks like bluish green, whatever. So, you know, it looks really nice, and the, the kill fit as well. Like this is purple, and this is sort of like green blue, like almost cyan, cyan, whatever. And you know that fades off and like here's like the sixth shot and uh, this this is the most painful shot as well uh, this just has like some basic like coloring effects and nothing too special in the main comp but here in the, like the pre comp <sighs> let, me, let me just like open this these fucking adjustment layers well anyways this was just like a complete mess something like didn't work properly and then like i did this somehow and i just left it however it looked it looked really nice and these stripes are supposed to be the beats you know like the keynotes in the from and you can see i sort of like tried to sing them properly and what, what i did i i don't know if i have it here maybe yeah uh, there we go fucking beats uh, like helpers so look at this these are just basic solids that I put in Vegas which are like exchange on like each beat so that I know where to sync in fucking After Effects these like stripes you know like some people told me like uh, for example in my world too I didn't mask anything that's like all just commands and then bunch of effects and people were like well, doesn't that like make it less valuable because like you didn't waste time on masking? Well, the thing is, if I had to mask everything, then I probably would never make my world too. And nobody, a normal p person would never mask that much stuff on the screen. So just because it looks really easy doesn't mean that it's not like a really nice effect. Here in this one, I use the, uh, the wiggler to do the shake and in this one I used like I made it like handmade you can see like the motion is weird whatever makes no sense and it's like really tiny and small and the the, the effect just looked so nice like the 
like the tiny shake comp aid. So basically, this is just like a bunch of effects. Uh, I added some misfire flicker to this part because uh, yeah, right here, like you can see, it sounds as if like piano is going. Da -da 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 -da. And then I just like added some flicker to sort of visualize that and you know just bunch of effects like this but like don't overdo your glow when when you add like some people will add like i don't know 10 and they're like oh my god glow like that that looks like so ugly so you know try to be uh subtle with your you know your glow uh, you know don't don't uh, overdo it don't make it like too bright and obviously it's like it has a very big radius as well I don't know. I, I saw. I don't know if you saw Wolfie's uh, reaction, like video, or whatever, and he was like, "Oh my God, how do you do this?" And it's basically just a simple transition between two uh, smooths, and you know, you, you just have to properly sync it in Vegas, like so. You can see this is like the sync. It goes like fast, then goes slow, 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 and then sort of goes fast, 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 like. It goes fast and then like in the second it goes like again slow and th this like this looks so 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 nice like you just have to find a perfect like uh spot in the in your like shot like this wouldn't look nice if i just like did i don't know well you can't see it but like here if i did this and then like all of a sudden it rotates all the way here and then like goes slow like looks weird and then on top of that i added some i don't know where the fuck i found this on youtube like some colory thing and i thought like it looked really nice on the transition like makes the shot like a bit brighter and you know adds the colors i think i also added some yeah i added some glow and like hue changes and like basically this is probably why the shot like looks so nice because this looks desaturated and here is like a little touch uh, with orange particles which here we go yeah which is like basically the same like particles of like clip video whatever from video copilot that I used before and I just like made it orange added some color vibrance and made it add and these aren't tracked but like they look like almost tracked like it, it looks really nice you know so you don't really have to bother every time with like making party part with using particular and tracking and whatever and also obviously like the, the first shot has the tracked kill feed there is like only one smooth and it's like obviously masked and now here's like what i like about uh after effects cc you have these like two tools, Roto Brush and Refine Edge, and this is like heaven for uh, masking out things. Like it's so easy. You you just like make, but like it renders like a bitch. It it takes a long time, but it's just you just like like paint this, and it will select like edges. It will all like automatically find them, and if you like need to readjust them, then you just like remove the paint from the from here and then you use refine edge to make sure that like you tell the you tell after effects okay these this is the edge you know and it, it will make it black and white so it will like take something leave something away out like and basically the same thing happens here but uh, here's the tricky part because i used the, the oh i actually entered the, the fucking roto brush tool whatever I don't want that V. There we go. Open this. And the problem is that, like, this is the normal map. And this is the player roto. This is how, like, how it looks. You can see, like, it, it's not perfect, but it's, like, nicely, like, blurred and faded and whatever. And the fog that doesn't like the the z pass unfortunately doesn't can't have like can't show the players because the players are glitched like you can even see these are blood uh and like grenade marks whatever and uh you you can't like remove them permanently 
so I added the, the like pr player uh, like the roto to the to like depth so that like it properly renders it whatever and I probably should have put this above everything and the, the like the funny part is that I like literally took everything from the second uh, shot and retract it here so I retract this shot and then added like these like the kill fit particles and everything here unfortunately the track just like wouldn't uh, the shot wouldn't track no matter what so I had to leave out the text and this has like a nice transition like it goes backwards and then like transitions to the shot in like the smooth on inferno and I add like some effect to it like it gets a bit darker and like bl blurs whatever and then here it goes to another transition which is here like it it's fast but uh, but like it fits perfectly almost this guy is already on like these boxes here by the time they get to this point he's like waiting for them so yeah had to like make a time warp here like timely wobbly stuff and you know nothing much in this like uh smooth it's just basically a couple of smooths together and you know color correction and you know some like couple of effects and here like it goes in, like zooms in at the guy and like blurs blurs up a bit because at the start of the shot it's blurred like you can only see his like arms so that's why I blurred it and here is the triple deagle uh, smooth and this one is like really cool uh, cool because I managed to okay I managed to find a perfect like uh, spot where you st you can still see the deagle. Well, you probably don't see it like in the video because there's a massive transition between smooth and uh, kill. But yeah, it just like it's a free smooth that goes forward and it has like it's uh, tracked. I used the uh, basic like After Effects uh, you know 3D camera tracker because it just like goes forward. You know shouldn't really bother with Buju and you can see here like there's no players in the depth pass and I also like nobody I don't think anyone noticed but I fucking tracked all of these sparks that weren't they didn't even have fucking nulls and I like guess tracked them approximately some some are perfect some are not five oh okay so here we go the the f like the final parts so nothing like too special in this uh, shot it's you know just color correction here and you know the, the standard uh, depth of field and chroma now here are like a couple of glitches this is like because you can't match every frame perfectly so like it's sort of like one f uh, the Z pass moves a bit faster than the normal map and then here is like the video slows down and he he's in the air and uh, it gets like a bit darker and like uh, his like head starts glowing like shoot here whatever and the, the windows like glow as well and then like he takes the shot and then here's like the, the feather transition so basically I managed to pre-comp this adjustment layer and there is like this nice button here this like sun which is which sort of like makes it so in this pre-comp you have like adjustment layer that's behind nothing you have this feather that has a black background but it's supposed to be screen and when you pre-comp that and press like this sun thing it will like uh it will recognize that this feather is supposed to be screened, there's supposed to be uh, an adjustment layer and whatever, and all these effects and, you know, it like makes this nice transition. Here we go, the final scene. The final scene is not in this project file. Okay, so here is the final shot. And, you know, it sort of like follows the same thing. And here are 
my wings or oh, okay so here are the wings which are made with the uh, mirror and I added like some lights you know to light it up because this is how they would look like like even this looks like really nice but it like there's like no like proper like lighting and shading and whatever and like when I add some lights uh, you know it looks proper because you know the window is like like right here and it looks as if that window is shining on the wings while they have like some like uh, ambient uh, lighting so yeah you know I again it's all like tracked and I used particular to add some feathers and then like I also tracked uh, this is I think in the final scene track yeah uh, here you can see the sort of the muzzle flash and after that there yeah there's some smoke and I tracked blood coming out from the guy well let, let's just go here you can, you can see the blood like he gets shot whatever and there's the the kill feed and you know the, the shot also follows like the same team I managed to get a proper uh, depth uh, like a Z pass from a source filmmaker and ch check this out look how fucking cool this looks like just uh, like a sh almost like a shadow of the guy with his wings and this is literally just me adding wings you know just like basic wings they have literally nothing they're just like properly tracked and I just put like a fill effect to it and like uh, selected the, the color of this dude really simple shot but it looks really nice you know I didn't really tr want to like add a lot of effects like I don't know I only added in Vegas that thing for the transition and you know it fades away and this is basically the outro it's literally uh, uh, solid with gradient ramp with like dark blue color and particles with and you know you make a camera with uh, depth of field and you know some animations to the text nothing too special so that's it well this I don't even know how long this is like let me check can I see it here oh my fucking god one hour are you fucking kidding me at 20 FPS GG why is this even recording at 20 fps anyways i hope it won't lag too much for you there are wallpapers that i made 1080p and uh, the like the 12 by or actually 21 times 9 resolution ish whatever uh wait let me show you my picasso painting yeah there we go this is the like I, I don't even fucking know how old this painting is I just did it in Photoshop like in five seconds this last shot was planned before I even had a frag where the guy jumps from heaven so thank you guys for watching I hope you learned something from this or maybe nothing I, I don't know whatever it's probably way too long for a making of but it's I hope it's enough in depth so you sort of got an insight of how to like improve your edits or whatever i don't know so yeah thank you guys for watching and you know make sure you rewatch black hole sun again you know get it to thirty thousand views that would be really this is probably the first ever movie that hit more than like 15 more than ten thousand views in first day like first 24 hours <sighs> oh my god